So we've got to finish these corner um, details off. I've been asked uh, several times actually how I do this. So as you can see, you've got the, the raw end of the feather boarding cladding here, and this obviously needs finishing off. So simply all I do is rip down a piece of timber exactly the same size. It's about 30 mil in this instance, and then uh, get that stained all round and then fix it on. I'll show you, I've cut one here. Um, so yeah, this is, this is basically all I do. I rip it on the, um, I've got the table saw set up over there. So I just rip it down to a 30, I think it's 31 mil actually in this instance. And then that'll be, um, once that gets stained, that'll go in and I'll fix it in there. And that just finishes that corner off really nicely. So I've got a couple more of those to cut. And again, because, because of the way this sort of detail works up here, it all works really, really well. The barge board is in the same line as the outside edge of the cladding. So when I put this piece in, it just shoots up and it all just, it all just sort of work, comes in together and looks really, really smart and closes it all off. So I do a very similar thing where there's an opening. I just use a, a wider piece of board. And what I've done in this instance is got my local timber merchant who are absolutely great guys. They've re-sawn, um, with, with, they've got this giant re-saw on it. I like it because it leaves a nice sawn edge on the face, which kind of matches the, the rough sawn appearance of the cladding. Um, otherwise it's, you might maybe not see it there, but otherwise, because these are sort of planed all round this structural timber, it, when you stain it, it gives a different finish. So I like to have a resawn edge out. So yeah, pretty much what I do here is, is just do the same. I've cut that one. It'll be fixed back, um, back to the back edge of the stud work. We're slightly forward here because we've got this roller door. Um, and yeah, that's the same thing again. So that'll be stained and then I'll fix that on. And that just um, finishes, so I'm trying to hold it so it doesn't fall down. That just finishes it all, finishes off the edge of the boarding nicely. Here's all the corner uh, trims that I mentioned. Um, they're all cut ready. Um, these have got to be uh, stained all round. I've put little crosses on uh, on the out two outside edges. So I think I'll probably give these a couple of coats, but maybe give them an extra coat on the outside. And they're the, the ones that go on the door opening. So. Fingers crossed, if uh, they get stained, I can, I can um, put those on and sort of bring it all in together. So as I said, I've cut these corner timbers. They've been stained all around now. So it's just a case of putting them in, in place and fixing them. And what they do is nicely close in the edges of the uh, cladding there. And it makes a really nice, neat job. So just push that into the corner up behind the barge because I left a nice gap for it. Nice. Beautiful. Straight in the corner. So now you can see that's closed off. I don't know if you can see in the shade. I'll maybe go to another one. Um, that's closed that off nicely all the way up there. So you're yeah, really happy with that. We did the same. This end, you can see, it just finishes it off really nicely. I don't know if that's any good with the sun. Is it? I'm sorry about the camera angles. I'm not a cameraman. So yeah, just fix these two last wide ones around this garage door opening. And that's closed that off 
nice and neat as well. I'm not too worried about nailing it. Maybe I could have screwed it, but there's nails everywhere, so it is a barn. We're going to keep it authentic, and that cloaks that in nicely as well.